Hey guys, I decided to make a short video showing you how you can set up your own cloud-based VPS server in less than 10 minutes. And the good part about this is um, you can manage the server yourself, so you don't really need a high-end server where you pay up to, I don't know, 100 bucks a month or something like that. You simply um, start small and scale up um, depending on what you what you need. So um, I want to show you a, a platform. This tool is called Cloudways, and I recently switched my website, my uh, my sales page, my membership site from my WordPress plugin from DigitalOcean to Cloudways. Now, Cloudways isn't a hosting company. They don't host your stuff but they rather combine different hosting providers, like you can see here on my screen, um, DigitalOcean, Vulture, Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, and Kiop. And what you then can do is manage your server through Cloudways. Um, if you're familiar with DigitalOcean servers, um, then you know that you don't have much options to um, configure the server without knowing a lot about Linux, Linux commands, um, web server config files, MySQL config files. You basically just get a, a bare frame server without anything at all. And this completely changes if you set up the digital ocean server through Cloudways because they add their own layer of optimization of caching, they um, install different plugins, if you want to call them, um, for Apache, one is Nginx, um, Vernish Cache, Memcache is installed, and so on and so on. So you get a really, really high performance, fast server out of the box with one click. All of these optimizations you would never normally have to do you on your end, meaning you need to install Apache, you need to install MySQL, you need to install PHP and all the good stuff yourself if you set up the server directly on DigitalOcean. And trust, trust me, it's not that fun if you don't know a lot about Linux. Um, I have outsourced this part in, in, in the past, but, um, I wasn't really happy because the server slowed down and third person people have root access or sudo access as a sub user account on my server. And it was just not the way I would love to run a server. So I came across cloud ways. And if you see the cheapest package, the cheapest server, which I don't recommend you to use, I recommend this plan here with at least one gig of RAM. Um, it's basically, it's seven bucks more expensive than if you buy it directly through um, DigitalOcean. You have the same specs, it's exactly the same server. You just pay um, the seven bucks more for all the optimization and the app itself, which I show you in a minute but it's worth, trust me, it's, it's a really, really cool tool if you want to start slow and go high. And how easy it is to create a server. Um, with Cloudways, I will show you that in the next step. So you can see I have two servers here. Um, on this server are two WordPress instances installed. And this one is a custom app I'm developing right now. So all you do is you create your account. You have a free day trial account on Cloudways. So you can just um, get started, create a server, install WordPress or whatever you want. And the good part is if you're a WordPress user, you can pre-select WordPress. So you get the server with WordPress directly installed. You get all the login credentials. Um, yeah, you will see in a minute, but um, it's really, really cool. What I did was I migrated my WordPress installation from my 
old digital server directly on this server here um, with a plugin they they give you which you can download for free um, and I, I I really really didn't thought that it would work that well because migration of WordPress with membership site with a lot of custom stuff in it isn't always that easy and besides two two small bug fixes the complete site worked very very well and the loading time from from around 4.3 seconds dropped to about 1.7 seconds without any um, caching plugin activated just the bare server from cloudways versus my old server on the digital ocean so let's create the server you click you click here on add server then you select what platform you want to install on your server meaning if you want to install wordpress you can select here wordpress or wordpress with woocommerce or a multi-version site or a clean wordpress site um, not optimized from cloudways then you have php a custom app this can basically uh, be a server where you just want to install prosper 202 cpv lab or whatever you want then you have different apps as you can see here beside wordpress which you can install with one click so for this i want to install wordpress i will say test app app test server and i want to have the server hosted on DigitalOcean. i love DigitalOcean. i haven't much experience with the other um, services except amazon then the server should be at least one gig of ram and you can select the location of the server um, i'm based in europe so um, i would take your yeah, amsterdam and i would simply create uh, hit the button launch now so this will take about seven minutes as you can see here i will pause the video and as soon as this icon turned green i will get back to you and show how the server looks like all right so server is ready as you can see here and if i click on it you get the master credentials which you can use with tools like putty or um, winc i don't know exactly the name wincp or something like that um, where you can create an ssh connection with your server and um, don't don't bother writing down these credentials i will delete the server after this video so no need for doing that all right so here you have the monitoring part from your server of course i don't see anything because the server is brand new you see manage services here you can restart the, the different services running on your server like i said vanish cast is in installed engine x is installed mysql is installed memcached apache and all can be restarted with one click like that Or you can even purge the cache um, from Vernish. And if you don't need the service at all, meaning if you um, run any tracking uh, tool on your server, I would definitely um, deactivate Vernish cache. Then you have the settings and packages. Here you can, here you can, um, define some basic and advanced php settings upload size execution limit this um, depends a lot on what kind of app you want to run but um, with the default settings you can't go really wrong um, you have you have packages you can switch here from php 7 uh, 7.1 to 7.0 5.6 whatever you need same goes with mysql um, yeah click just click through everything here and 
see for yourself what you can do with this server. You can whitelist your IP. Um, you can scale up your server. This is handy when you need more power. Then you simply scale up the server. Um, you have backups. You can set, set up how many backups you want. This is free of charge, so you don't have to pay extra for this. You have here a basic SMTP integration, integration either through your own server, um, like Mailgun, Mandrill, SendGrid, or other, if you used Amazon SES, for example. Um, one thing is, is to say with uh, email, you don't have any inboxes on your server, meaning um, you, you don't have a web server installed. You wouldn't have it on a DigitalOcean server either. So um, if you really need email, meaning you need inboxes to receive email, which you want to store on your server, um, you can't really do that through Cloudways. What you can do is install an add-on and use a third-party service like um, the email service from Rackspace. Um, or I don't know what they support. We can have a look uh, on the add-ons later. But basically, you can here say what kind of SMTP service you want to use to send mails, if you need SMTP, of course. So basically, if I click on application, you see now here is our test APB app. And as you can see, this is the complete configuration of the app, meaning that's the WordPress site, and you can see it's loading blessing fast. You can here go to the admin. I can log in. Bam. As you can see, I'm just logged into my WordPress backend. You have here the MySQL access. You don't really need that until you mess up the dat database for, from WordPress or so. But um, all you need is the admin panel access and you can start using WordPress just like normal, just like if you would install it normally. So this is pretty, pretty cool, I, I think. I, I mean, it took took seven minutes to install the complete server, optimize it, and uh, get a fast WordPress install on it. So what you can do here is uh, enter your domain name. You can add additional domains. Here you have the cron job management. If you need uh, cron jobs for whatever reason, you can do them here. You have an SSL certificate, which is free of charge. You don't have to pay for that. Simply enter an email address into your domain name and click install. And the certificate is then will then be installed. And um, you can here restore your server from a previous backup. Deployment via JIT. I don't know exactly what that is. I don't use JIT up at all. So if that's something you can use, go ahead, give it a try. Here you have some basic application settings. Um, you can rename the folder where my WordPress install is located. You can um, define the web route. You can add, uh, disable, enable Varnish cache. Um, yeah, different stuff you can set up here. You have here the PHP settings and you have Varnish settings where, which you can define here. Then you have the migration tool. This, that's the tool I told you previously about um, migrating one WordPress site from a different hoster to your fresh server on Cloudways. You simply click download, install um, the plugin on your old site, activate it, go to the settings and uh, uh, enter these access details which can be found here. And you're basically ready to go to migrate your server from A to your fresh server on Cloudways. Then you have the Cloudways Cloud. I don't use it at all, but I can imagine it works pretty, pretty well. I use Amazon CloudFront and Amazon S3 
for for my um, cloud content delivery network. So I can't really give my opinion on this part, but um, everything else is really, really cool. So for the two box or seven box, you pay more for the server on top. Um, it's a solid app. It works great. I'm a fan of it, I have to admit. And what's also cool is you can add team members, meaning you can give people access to your server, but with different roles. So they can't just access your main server and delete it if they want to. Um, so if you have an app you want to develop, you can add your team members here. You can manage your projects into different um, folders. And here you have the add-ons. As you can see, uh, Rackspace email, it's called Elastic Email. Um, cloud with cloud and here you can simply click it say how many emails you need and then save the change and I don't know exactly how you get charged and um, if this is happening through cloudways or not but um, it's simple as clicking and adding the add-on to your server so that's for it I hope you enjoyed this short video um, I really, really like Cloudways, as I told you, it's easy to use, it let me manage my servers completely by myself, and if something is not working at all or not working well, I can always um, open up a support chat here or um, leave them a message, and they respond pretty fast, they solve my um, two or three bugs I had on my my main server, as I told you, um, within one day. So from, from me, thumbs up to Cloudways. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Take care. See you soon.